Hello people of the internet, my name is Tatiana. Today I have a small rouge haul for you. Originally I was not going to make this video because not everything needs to be documented, but then I thought about when I'm trying to buy something, I always like to have a look at how it fits at other people because let's face it, we don't all look like the models that they show online, especially when it comes to rouge. I think they go for a very stereotypical skinny French-like woman and you know, not everybody looks like that. So um, I have decided to show you how these clothes fits on me. My sizes are right here for comparison and who knows, maybe this will be helpful for somebody who's looking into buying these pieces. I was very intrigued by the lemon collection that they released this year. So there are some of the cute pieces with the lemon print, but I'm not gonna talk about it too much. I'm just gonna show you because the pictures say a million words. Is that, is that the saying? <laughs> Probably not. Also, side note, I don't know how I feel about these slick bun trends. Like, does it look good? Or are we gonna look back at this and think about how stupid we looked? Here's the order, ASMR. This time, they even have kind of a cute packaging. It's like the, the Italian Dolce Vita life kind of print. I don't know if you can actually see it on the camera. Each order always comes with a tote bag. Um, at this point, I think it's getting a little too much. Like every brand will just throw in a tote bag with whatever print with every order and you just have a pile of tote bags at home and there is absolutely no way that you could actually physically make a use out of all of them. I do miss when they were doing these like uh, tote bags that you could also use as a cushion cover. Like they had a little button here and it was a square shape. It was so creative. I'm really sad they stopped doing it. Uh, I guess this is cheaper to produce but I think they're really missing out on that one. Also, how cool would it be if they went with the lemon print for a regular tote bag? Like there is one that you can buy, like a shopper tote bag, which is a bit bigger and probably more sturdy than this one. But come on, it would have been such a nice touch. But let's get into the actual pieces that I bought. By the way, this video is not sponsored and I bought all of the pieces with my own money. So just putting it out there. All opinions are my own. Starting off with the lemon Shona top. I knew this was going to fit because I had the white version of this top since last year. There are some differences. I think it runs a tiny, tiny bit smaller than the original Shona top. The, the mechanism right here, it's a little bit tricky to open and close it for whatever reason. It, I think the metal is just bent a little tighter it's not impossible to use. It just takes a little more time to get into it. Um, and then this little part around the cleavage is, um, maybe I'll just show you right away. It's just a different kind of pattern. Like this one is a, gives you a tiny bit more coverage than when you're wearing it. Um, it has this like embroidered holes. Is that what it's called? I have no idea. And this one is just like a tiny little loops right there if that makes sense so the cleavage kind of looks a tiny bit bigger but uh, overall i think it fits pretty much the same so if you have one of these tops you can just get it the same size and it will work but honestly these tops are so nice and so flattering and it looks good with literally anything like you wear jeans it looks amazing you wear a skirt it looks perfect you can even wear it over a dress and like make it look a little bit different so versatile and so freaking nice and flattering and the fact that you can like tie them in the waist it just makes it amazing like it really fits perfectly in every corner of your body and for that reason <laughs> i also got it in black and this one is, I think, the exact same as the white one when it comes to the cut and the way it's done. It's just a black color. Very cute. I'm glad I managed to get this one. I had one order that they ended up canceling because this was sold out. So now I got lucky and now I have all three of these tops and I'm so happy. They're so versatile. 
and very very comfortable and you can wear uh, an actual like sports bra or bralette even underneath it and it doesn't show which is very important to me I saw a lot of people wearing it without a bra at all um, I don't think it's that flattering for me I didn't feel that safe in it at least not in the white one because it is a tiny tiny bit transparent but yeah if you feel comfortable wearing that or maybe with the black one it's a little more safe than with the clear white one now that I've tried on all of these tops back to back I have noticed that the one with the lemon print definitely fits a little tighter for whatever reason like with these with the white and the black one I've got like a little bit of a fold with the fabric in the back like there is space and it doesn't cinch you in as much as the one with the lemons I don't know I think this whole collection runs a little bit smaller than they advertise in the size charts still it fits it's just a little more tight and then I got the matching skirt usually when it comes to rouge I'm a size 38 and most of their stuff runs true to size so I went with the 38 with the skirt as well and I had to return it because it was so tight in the waist and um, I ended up getting a size bigger size 40 which I'm honestly not sure if it's much bigger like it still feels kind of tight in the waist and I know that it's like rubber band waist and it's stretchy and all that but I still feel a little like just kind of trapped in there so I am considering returning this but I think I will need like a couple of days to actually sleep on it and see how I feel about it the skirt is so nice but it's just so tight in the waist and I I don't know like if I size up I think it might be like too much fabric or like in a weird length Because right now it's kind of like perfect in the, in the middle of the cuffs. I just feel too tight in it. So with this I would definitely recommend sizing up maybe even two sizes. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I noticed that they had um, like a dress that looks like it's a mixture of this top and this skirt just put together. It only was uh, available in black and white and this skirt is only available in this uh, lemon print but I'm wondering maybe at some point they will also release this skirt in black and white so you can you know mix and match with the other Shona tops and I think that would be so cool and I do think they will do it so I'm not sure I was very intrigued with buying that dress but I didn't because I truly think they will release the skirts in other colors and then you have a lot more variety when you can you know combine it exactly the way you want instead of just having one piece so hear my words they are gonna give us the skirts in other colors for sure they just didn't want to release it right away because they want you to buy the dresses and then last but not least i got these like little hair clips um i don't know if there is much to say i can't even show you what it looks like right now it's just these like hair clips that are not supposed to crease your hair when you're getting ready and it comes in this like little pouch which is cute uh, you can definitely use it also for something else like I don't know your jewelry if you're traveling it comes as a pair nothing special just kind of cute not a necessity um, I got it when I was ordering the bigger skirt and I didn't want to pay for the delivery so I just was like okay I could pay 8 euros or 12 euros even for the delivery or I can pay 15 euros and half with the hair clips so obviously I went with the hair clips another thing with rouge I think now it's better the returns have gotten much better like you don't actually have to uh, you know write the post address yourself and just send it off as a post package which was quite expensive honestly if I remember correctly and now the returns at least from Austria are like eight euros and you can send it back with UPS so if you have like a pickup center somewhere around you you just leave it in this like lock box and they take care of it for you which is nicer but I still think they could improve this whole process a little bit more because the website was a little bit broken when I was trying to return it so yeah you'd think they do a little bit better considering the years they have been on our market um, and compared to Cezanne, for example, also another French brand, they are not as efficient and like 
easy when it comes to the customer relations and everything but that just might be how it is for Austria I don't know I think that's all for this video I didn't buy too much because let's face it it's a little bit pricey and we don't want to buy too much but hopefully this was a little bit helpful let me know what your experience was with Rouge how you like their products and I will see you next time hey